Hey everybody, this is Derek from CF Design. This is part one of a series of demonstrations highlighting some of the capabilities of Space Claim to leverage some of your geometry, do an upfront CFD analysis inside of CF Design. So I'm starting here in S Space Claim 2007 Plus and I want to bring in some geometry. So notice that I can bring in a variety of different file formats, SOLIDWORKS Pro, V5, NX, etc. In this case, I want to grab in some Pro geometry and bring it in directly from my hard drive. So I don't even have to have Pro loaded on the machine. It just comes in directly from the hard drive. So it's pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so this is a little PCB assembly that came in from Pro. And I want to clean it up and take it into CF Design. Okay, so the first thing we notice is that all the parts and names, uh, the names of the parts in the assembly come in from Pro makes it easy to navigate, but it's also cool that I can grab this part and notice that that it's one solid, but it's actually two components. So I want to be able to assign different material properties inside of um, inside of CF Design. So I want to be able to split those guys, okay, and create a multi-body part. So I'm going to simply split the body by picking the surface, and that's it, okay. And it creates two two solids up here on the left-hand side. Next thing we're going to notice is that we have these little these little mounting holes uh, that we just want to get rid of. Don't need them for the analysis, just going to increase the mesh size with, with no benefit. So I just want to simply get rid of those. So using the fill command inside a space claim, I can fill them in and, and get rid of them auto, auto, automatically. So speaking of, uh, of tiny little details, check out these little diodes here. Very common in the electronics industry to want to be able to get rid of those. So I could I could suppress them, or in this case we we don't care about them, so let's just delete them. So no parent-child relationships at all. Uh, it gets rid of them for very very easily. Okay. So I just put the board in transparent uh, view so that you can see that we have some interferences here with the chips are located. Okay. So I just want to use this little combine tool, and it's pretty pretty versatile. I can do a lot of different things with it. So I want to be able to to do. Uh, a quick boolean operation here so it asked me to pick the the part that I want to cut what do I want to cut with which is the board and, and what do I want to get rid of those little interference sections so it gets rid of those guys for me automatically in, in three clicks so it's, it's, it's pretty cool it allows you to multi-select parts and so forth okay so that's I think that's good for for the pro geometry now let's start adding stuff so if I want to create say a new component Okay, like a, a fan or something like that. So let's just rename this guy just to keep things nice and tidy. So there's a fan, and I want to create a sketch profile on this guy here, leveraging that edge. Give it some dimensions, tab over for the width. Okay. And now I want to use the pull, give it a dimension. Okay, and that pull command you'll see me use it over and over and over again. It's it, it's it, it's pretty cool. Allows me also to pick this surface here, and let's create a little diameter. Okay, and the same pull command allows me to punch a hole in it. Okay, so inside of CF Design, this is the actual fan housing itself. Uh, but but we need to create the fan part, so I'm just going to add a new part, creating a multi-body part, and grab that edge there. And uh, let's flip it around so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to use the pull command again. And I want to reference the, the housing. So take that fan and pull it right up. And then I can move this around and assemble it wherever I want. It's very easy. Last step, let's create the, the air enclosure itself. So add a new component, rename it air. And I want to grab the board and doing the same thing. I'm just going to grab the four edges of the board itself. And I want to pull that part up 100. And let's put it in transparent so we can, can see what's going on inside. There we go. So that's part one of the demonstrations. Stay tuned for part two. Check us out. CFDesign.com. Thanks.